Hello everyone, my name is Altus, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to install Terraria mods in February 2020. For this tutorial, we'll be using something called Tmod Loader. If you've never heard of this, it's similar to Minecraft Forge. Basically, you just have to download Tmod Loader onto your computer and put it in your Terraria files, and it will then be able to install mods into Terraria. First, you gotta go to the Tmod Loader download on the Terraria forums. I put a link down in the description to this website. You could go to the Discord server to download it, but this download has worked for me every time, so I'll just use this link up here. Alright, so now you gotta download the file that is for your operating system. I'm on Windows, so I'll just press right here, but if you're on Mac or Linux, click one of these. Uh, I'm not sure how Linux or Mac works since I've always used Windows, but I'm pretty sure there are other tutorials on YouTube for those operating systems. So if you are on a Mac or a Linux, I'd recommend going to check out one of those tutorials. But if you are on Windows, just keep watching. Alright, so for Windows, just click right here and it will instantly start downloading right here. Alright, so now we're done with this website and you can just close out of that. And here we are on the WinRAR website. So if you don't have WinRAR already, I would recommend downloading it as it makes extracting files much easier and we're going to need that for Tmod Loader. So as you can see, the Tmod Loader file that we downloaded earlier is a zip file. You can see that both right here where it says .zip and on the icon which is a normal Windows file icon except it looks like it's zipped up. Alright, so back on the WinRAR website, I'm going to have a link to this in the description below so you don't have to go there yourself even though it takes like 5 seconds to do. Alright, so as you can see, these are all just for different languages. What we're going to want is up here. Right here, these are the Linux Mac OS files. All we're going to do is download the 64-bit uh, download right here. This is for Windows and you can just click that and it will instantly download at the bottom. Alright, so as you can see right here, the WinRAR has downloaded. All you have to do is run that and set it up and I'll be right back once I do that. So you can create a WinRAR program group that's automatically checked. I just leave that right there. You can also add WinRAR to the start menu and to your desktop if you want. I'm just going to add it to my desktop so it's easier to use when I want it. Shell integration, don't press anything right here. And for the associate WinRAR with, you can just leave those all on because if you uncheck any of these, WinRAR won't be able to extract any of those. So just in case in the future you do need to extract any of those, you'll be able to. So just leave those all checked. All right, so now all you have to do is press OK. It'll bring this up and it will tell you that it has successfully been installed and you can just press done. All right, so once you've downloaded WinRAR and set it up, navigate to wherever you downloaded Tmod Loader. So for me, it's in my downloads folder with Tmod Loader itself. Now if you notice, you right click, go to properties, you see right here that the icon has changed from the zipped up file to WinRAR's logo. And it also says opens with WinRAR archiver. That's good. That means that WinRAR has been successfully installed. So now all you have to do, double click on this, it'll open it up in WinRAR. Just select all of those and extract to a specified folder. I'm just going to use desktop right here, press OK. Now you can just close out of that and you can see all the files on your desktop. These didn't extract to a folder so I'm just going to um, do that really quick and I'll be back once that's done. Alright so now as you can see we have all the files that we had just extracted in this folder right here named Tmod Loader. You can just close your downloads folder as you don't need that anymore but keep this folder up. So uh, next just go to seam and locate Terraria. Right click on it, press properties, then local files up at the top. Once you click on that, press browse local files. That will bring you to the Terraria page. You can just close out of this now and minimize Steam. Alright, so now you have two files, the Terraria file and the Tmod Loader file. All you have to do is select all and drag it into your Terraria folder. It's going to say that it already has files with the same name. Um, it'll only say like two files for you, but since I've already downloaded Tmod Loader before, it's, it says seven for me. All you have to do is press replace the files and there you go. You have Tmod Loader installed. You can just close this now and navigate back to Steam and launch Terraria. 
Alright, so as you launch Terraria, it should look normal, except for in the bottom left, it should say Tmod Loader. Uh, when you first load up Tmod Loader, it's going to ask you for your language. Just press English or whatever language you uh, speak. And now on this menu screen, you'll see two new um, icons, Mods and Mod Browser. If you go into Settings, you'll also see Tmod Loader Settings. And you can just switch these on and off um, to your preference, but if you just leave all of these how they originally were, it'll work just fine. So now on this main menu screen, press mods. This will have all of your mods that you've ever downloaded. You can enable them, disable them, open the mods folder where, where they will all download to, uh, reload mods, look at your mod packs, etc. So to actually download the mods, press on Mod Browser. This will open up this screen and it'll have a ton of different mods that you can download. Up in the top left here, there will be different filters that you can put to look at different types of mods. So for this, you can sort by popularity, um, mod names alphabetically, reverse alphabetically, mods descending, ascending, recently updated, etc. Next up right here, you show all mods, show mods not installed and updates, show only updates and show installed mods. So for this, this will show every single mod on Tmod Loader. If you press again, it'll show all the mods that you don't have downloaded. If you press this, it'll show all the updates for mods you need. And if you press it again, you will see all of the mods you've ever installed. You sort by popularity and show all mods. These will be all the popular mods that people are downloading. So there's a lot of good ones here, such as Calamity Mod. If you just click this, it will show all the things it adds. 20 plus new bosses, a lot of new enemies, ores, and items, 5 new modes for extra challenge, 6 new biomes, and several new structures. It also adds buffs and nerfs to certain vanilla features in order to maintain balance, etc. Um, this will also have warnings that you need and any information that you need for the mod in general. Alright, so now I'm going to show you how you actually install a mod. So let's say I wanted the boss checklist. This will show a checklist of the bosses that you need to fight and the ones that you have fought. So all the information you need is right here. If you press back and press this download button, it'll download boss checklist. Now you go out and you press mods and boom, shows right here. Uh, right here you can click to disable it or to enable it. I'm just going to keep it enabled. I'm going to create a new player, I'm just going to randomize that, create, uh, just name it something. Alright, so now I'm going to play as that, create a new world. Alright, so now you just have to wait for the world to generate, and I'll be back when it's done. Alright, so once you've loaded into the game, it'll just look like normal Terraria, but with this mod, if you open this up and press boss log, right down here. It'll show you the pre-hard mode and hard mode mosses that you still need to defeat. If you have other mods downloaded that add bosses, they'll also show up here. It's just a cool little feature. Alright, one more thing that I forgot to add is that some mods aren't compatible. Some are, but some aren't. What this means is that, say, if you were to go to popular mods, download Calamity, Thorium, and Elements Awoken, they might not work very well together. This is because all of the code for each mod are all being put into the game. And some of the, some of the things that these mods do are um, add items and bosses, but they also do um, balancing. So what this does is overrides the default Terraria code to make things either harder or easier that will fit in good with the mod itself. Now again, some mods will work well together, but if you're going to install a bunch of mods together, I would recommend either going for a mod pack or asking on the Terraria forums or subreddit what mods will work well together. If you liked the video or you found it helpful, please make sure to drop a like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it helps people looking for this information be able to find it easier. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.